It was heart stopping to say the least. This is probably worse than any that I've worked in the, uh, the 19 years I've been around it. The My Old Kentucky Home Dinner Train along its that route. It's two or three runs a day out of Barstown. We have had fires off the train before. Sparking flames. We had multiple fires starting here. It's tearing through a huge field in Nelson County. Because the wind is coming from the south and the maker's warehouse right here could have been in danger. As several homes and a historic bourbon rickhouse, Heaven Hill sat in the path of the raging fire. WLKY Chopper HD above the scene Friday, helping crews on the ground get a bird's eye view. That was one of our main objectives is to protect the exposure down in this area. As firefighters worked for hours to keep the flames from reaching Heaven Hill, which we've learned still had bourbon stored inside. This was the same location where multiple bourbon warehouses were ravaged by a fire in 1996. If the fire hadn't been stopped uh, over in the soybean field, if it had uh, actually made it past the fence line that you see behind us and made it to the warehouses, it had been a different story. It had been a very, uh, we've been in bad shape trying to stop that. You can see where that fire was first sparked along the train tracks before spreading throughout this now scorched and huge field. We're told about 60 acres were burned. As dry as it uh, was, it, it does spread very quickly. Despite Nelson County not being under a burn ban or advisory like much of our viewing area, caution is still being urged by authorities. I would advise people do not burn. So a massive brush fire like this one won't likely spark again. Way too dry and, you know, see what happened today. It doesn't take much for it to spread. In Nelson County, I'm Trey Ward, WLKY News.